segmentation. Have you seen my first video on segmentation? If not, then check it out. Segmentation on the B2C market. We discussed that we need separability, measurability, accessibility, and adequate size for the segment. First, we need the baseline variables. We have to find out the demand differences between the consumers and have to make homogeneous groups from them. We need to improve the segmentation based on the segment access opportunities. How can we reach each segment? Then we have to define basic segmentation parameters. We need to focus on those factors which are affecting the behavior of the consumers the most. Basic segmentation parameters can be divided into two groups, consumers and consumption characteristics. Segmentation by consumer characteristics. Territorial criteria, country, region, development differences between places of residence, cultural habits, socio-demographic characteristics, age, life cycle, life situation, gender, salary, social class, and generation, psychographical factors, lifestyle, personal characteristics, and so on. It is also necessary to find out the correlation with demographic characteristics as well. Segmentation by consumption characteristics. Motivation. What the consumer expects from the product, what motives play a decisive role in the purchase. Benefits. For which characteristics the consumer buys the product. Attitude. What is the relationship of the consumer with the brand or the company selling the product? Is it enthusiastic, indifferent, negative or hostile? We can also make the segmentation by user status. The market can be divided into these consumers. Those who are not using the product, those who are not using the product anymore, those who are using the product for the first time, and those who are using it regularly. It is crucial to find out the causes behind them. We can also make the segmentation based on the degree of usage. Now we are dividing the customers based on how much quantity they consume from the product. They can be small, medium or large consumers. We can also segment based on how much knowledge the consumer have on the product. Doesn't know it, knows it, informed about the product, wants the product and ready to purchase. We can also base our segmentation on brand loyalty. We can differentiate the consumers based on the level of attachment to the product. It can be strong, weak, changing or brand loyal. Now, segmentation of B2B markets. The segmentation on the B2B market is not so mature as in the B2C market because the market research is much more complex. Macro segmentation. It can be done by secondary information, segmentation criteria, sectorial classification, what is the business activity, size of the company, territorial location, and product usage. Micro segmentation. It is based on primary information. It includes business operations, procurement decision making, so it assumes some level of business relationship with the partner. Companies with the same demographic characteristics can be further divided into the following groups. Supply related segmentation, procurement center figures, individual characteristics of the decision makers. Segmentation example. Let's take the geographic segmentation of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola targets different marketing segments with its marketing activities. Segmentation groups are formed based on gender, age, ethnicity and lifestyle. Coca-Cola product. As it is the most popular soft drink among its category, it is marketed for the majority of the target market segments. Coca-Cola Zero. Targeted segments are mainly the teenagers who would like to have the cola taste but do not want to take much calories. Diet Coca-Cola. Cola. It is targeted rather for young adults who are really health conscious, but still they would like to drink cola. The age of this segment is between 25 and 55. Powerade is targeted for those who are doing sports regularly. The age group is between 15 and 30 years old. Thanks for watching, I'm Balint, and this was Balint about marketing.